Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching the Bitcoin Vigilante. You can support our show. There's a lightning wallet right there. If you want to unload some of your fiat, you can do it here. <laughs> um, so Bitcoin's been having, it's been a weird year. You know, the halving was in April. Bitcoin hit an all-time high of around 73,000 per coin before the halving. And since the halving this summer, it's been doing some weird stuff. And a lot of it is, and we've done some videos on this, I think, and and people, you know, other financial experts are saying that because the economy, we're in a recession, even though they say it isn't, they're pulling their cash out. Um, also, this is important too. So the Fed just lowered the interest rate by 50 points, half a percentage. So prior to that, I was at a swan salon and they had this very, this wealthy dude there. And he was talking about really wealthy people, people with hundreds of millions of dollars or billions or more. They didn't want to move their money into another asset because they could let it sit and earn five and three eighths percent. So if you got a hundred million dollars or whatever, 50, 20, I mean, big, big numbers of money earning five and a half percent or more, you know, you don't want to risk it anything else. That's just guaranteed free money coming in. When the interest rates start going low, then you might move your money into something else. So when they lowered it by 50 points, that put a lot of money into Bitcoin. And now Bitcoin just crossed over 60,000, I think. We'll check the current price right now. Uh, as of this recording, it's about 520 in the afternoon Pacific time on Friday. Uh, and the Bitcoin price is 65.8, just under, so depending on what you know, exchange you're looking at, it's around 66, just under 66,000 right in there, which is a, it hasn't been at that price in a while. So here's some explanations to why we're having this little bit of a bull run, the bull run. This is on Fox Business News and this is Bitcoin Magazine. Um, I, I, there we go. We're going to subscribe to them. No, I don't want to subscribe. That's, I don't want to pay them. Um, I follow them and I'm paying the So new 13.2 billion Cantor Fitzgerald CEO says Bitcoin should be treated like gold and like oil. When you truly understand Bitcoin, it's hard to see it any other way. This is the thing I've been talking about for the last four years. I've been talking about Bitcoin pretty steadily for four years. And now that this channel is pivoting even more to Bitcoin, this is the thing I've been telling you why you should buy some Bitcoin. You can buy as little as $10 worth of Bitcoin. I would suggest dollar cost averaging. Don't do day trading. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This is just my opinion. Is just buy whatever you can afford a month, 50 bucks, 100 bucks a month, whatever, 25 bucks a week, whatever, because then you're not worried about the price. You're just stacking up as much Bitcoin as you can for, for this run. Because I've been telling you this, institutional money, the big money people are waking up to the value of Bitcoin and they're jumping in. And when they jump in and start putting billions of dollars into it, the price is going to go up. And that's what has just happened. So I think Bitcoin will be somewhere between 150 and 200,000 by next spring. It's almost October. Listen to this. Let me just finish this conversation on, on regulation and your new exchange. Do you expect similar regulations for commodities and other things that are traded on your new exchange as we see in for equities? I, I think it's going to go a little slower. Okay. But uh, eventually, commodities and equities will kind of sort of merge over a long period of time, over maybe 20 years. I mean, let's face it, they don't even know how to do uh, crypto and digital at all. Yeah, right? They have point. no idea. They're still, they still don't understand how important it is to actually get it right. They, you know, it's just platitudes and being on TV. They have no idea what they're talking about. They have no idea. Bitcoin is a commodity. It should be treated like gold and like oil. It's just a commodity. Other digital currencies, different. Other digital assets, different. But Bitcoin is a commodity. But why can't they understand it? It just doesn't make sense to me. Let me just finish this. Whoa, what the, what the, gee, that sounds something. That sounds very familiar. That's what I've been saying on the show literally for the last three years now since Max Kaiser came on my show and, and explained that. And so this is the thing you need to understand. Bitcoin, like this guy just said, it is a commodity 
like gold or oil. The altcoins, those are cryptocurrencies. Those should be looked at like securities. This is a law that they passed in El Salvador, a law that Max and Stacy helped um, get passed to delineate the two. And of course, we're woefully behind in this country. We've got people like Liz Warren that don't know what they're talking about. And we got Trump. Trump's like, I'm a crypto Bitcoin guy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's launching some cryptocurrency. Don't buy the Trump coin. Oh my goodness. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I, when I had Dr. Jill Stein on this show last December, when she first announced that she was running for president, I said, you know, and I've been trying to talk to her campaign. I know she's very busy and hopefully we'll get her back on the show. I really want to talk to her campaign on how to have a good Bitcoin policy. If she had a solid Bitcoin policy, she would get all the sort of Bitcoin libertarians and just the, the Bitcoin people would, would jump. She would, it would help her campaign. If she said, we're going to have good policy, we're going to delineate the difference of Bitcoin as a commodity and the others are, and because everyone in Bitcoin and most people in crypto in general agree, there needs to be some type of regulation, not damaging regulations, but the FTX thing was a great example. Like you need some type of regulation so that these scams don't happen. But just if we get an American president that understand, just understands, and I don't think any of them do, I don't think Harris understands it. Trump certainly doesn't understand it. And RFK kind of under, I think RFK understands it, but he's like a pro-Israel guy, so it doesn't matter. Um, they, they need to understand that Bitcoin, like this guy just said, is a commodity. And you make that distinction from a legal standpoint. So in, so in this country, the SEC already has sort of regulation in place to determine the difference between a commodity and a security, right? I'm not saying the SEC is some amazing organization, but just from a regulation standpoint, you need to have some, so you just can't have scam artists or there's some sort of, um, there's some sort of consequences for scam artists, but this is important. But so this is one of the reasons Bitcoin is, is pumping right now. And I just want to show you these other reasons it's been pumping. Um, another reason it's been pumping is Chinese central bank just ushered in a rate cutting bazooka, setting up Bitcoin for a massive bull run. Let me just get this teed up. Here we go. Bam. The Chinese central bank just unleashed a bazooka onto markets by cutting rates. Plus, the latest research shows that Bitcoin loves liquidity, and we're setting up to see a massive bull run. And while some hedge fund managers are telling you to buy everything, Ev PDB, everything. the two Chinese Thing. ETFs, everything. everything. China. We discuss why you should be cautious and never trust central banks and big banks with your Bitcoin. Let's go. Yeah. The Chinese central bank. All right. So that's why, that's why Bitcoin is pumping. So as I said, if you're like, oh man, I should have bought it when it was at 40 or 50 K and now it's at 66. Don't think that way. It's going to be at 150, 200,000. And when it is, you're going to go, I'm so glad I bought it at 66. <laughs> Buy Bitcoin, hold it. Buy it, get it off of the exchange, get it on a cold wallet. Swan Bitcoin has a great, um, has a great self custody um, tutorials, um, and I will tell you, this is. You can get ten dollars in free Bitcoin if you go to swanbitcoin.com slash Graham Elwood. You get free ten free dollars in Bitcoin, and I get you're helping the show out without. You know, you're just buying Bitcoin. Um, buy some Bitcoin. Swan Bitcoin is a Bitcoin only exchange. They show you how to self custody, which is get it off of the exchange and put it into your wallet. So check that out. Um, 
Because when the economy crashes and everything and fiat goes nuts and whatever else, you're going to be glad you own Bitcoin. Five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now, you're going to be glad you bought Bitcoin. Because I know I am. Follow Money Connected Ads. Buy Bitcoin and shave your knuckles for justice. Boom.